All right, working on uh, putting in the columns. Um, working on the first one. This one is right under the joist. Um, there's a, you need at least two pieces of rebar, so I did three. <laughs> Might as well do one extra. Putting one at uh, two feet, four feet, and seven feet. Um, basically under the eight foot, um, bench that'll be for the rocket mass heater above it. This first one is going to remember my own math here. Oh yeah. So it's 25 and a quarter. I want it to be 25 and an eighth. Uh, minus, I'm putting a 4x4 four four, uh, screwed to two 2x4s two together, so kind of a 8x8. Eight eight. I mean, 8x4, dirt, dirt. And so then the rebar has to be at least an inch and a half from the top, so I'm going two inches and three inches from the bottom, so I'm going three and a quarter. Just to give me a little wiggle room, I assume that's just so it's completely encased away from moisture so it doesn't rust over time. So I just put the rebar in at the uh, two inch mark. Yep, good times. So the other ones, I wasn't paying attention and aren't under a joist, they're in between, but um, I guess I don't really care. I'm hoping that this is an overkill, what I'm doing, three columns, because a 2x12 on its own will support 800 pounds. And what am I looking at? Um, what did I have figured? If it was, uh, <laughs> can't think of my math right now. It was, uh, I think it was like 300 pounds a, a foot. Yeah, no, that's only 2,400. So 600 pounds a foot. 16 inches apart uh, on these would be 800 pounds per joist, I guess you would say. Uh, that would be 4,800 pounds uh, total for the, the bench. I think that math's right. <laughs> it's, it's something like that. But yeah, 4,800 pounds, I know that's around, I mean, the guess. 5,000 pounds is the guess, and I think it's going to be less than that, but haven't really figured out everything that's going into it. But I'm pretty sure three eight inch columns is gonna be more than enough to support it. And uh, and I'll take measurements once I get it completed so that I can check it in the future to see if, if anything is, you know, um, slumping down or what do you wanna call it? Uh, just so I can track it, but um, I think it's going to be plenty. I kind of want these columns to be a little lower than the wall just so that it does over time slump down to these columns rather than putting all the weight on. I just want to make sure, you know, that this these columns are doing something and to support. So that's I kind of want an eight inch gap, an eighth of an inch gap. So I don't know, that'll probably just end up being that it just fits in there loosely, but rubbing, I think, is basically what I'm going to go for. The uh, the 4 by 4 is on top. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Kind of crazy rambling, but I think that explains it. <laughs>